Hello Danny peeps, the official ARC servers are going to be closed down by the end of September to make space for the upcoming ARC Survival Ascendant servers. Many players wanted to have an option to save their progress from official servers and continue to play it on single player. Fortunately, Wildcard recently made the save files for all official PC servers available just a few days ago. Unfortunately, the website provided by Wildcard is a user interface nightmare and that's why we invested our time in programming a user-friendly server search catalog. This catalog makes it easier to find the correct server file and offers filters and an automatic search feature. In this tutorial, you can also make use of our website. And now let's go into a step-by-step -step tutorial that helps you to set up your server file in your single player game. First, go to our website and search your server by number. You can also use the filters if you have too many results, but usually the server number should get you to the server that you want. Download the server from the website. The download link does lead directly to the servers from Wildcard, so we're basically only providing a search function to the existing server files. Then extract the files on your PC so you have it ready for later. Next, we're starting Arc Survival Evolved once. First, to see if we already have a save game, and second, if we don't, to start the game once. This will create a save file folder for us. This is especially important if you want to set up a map that's not the island, and in this case, Valguero. You don't need to do anything big in the game, just load it once and close the game again. As you can see, we now have a save file available. Go into your local ARC files now and you can see the Valguero save folder. Creating a game beforehand makes it easier for us to have the folder proper named and set up. By the way, if you only want to set up on the island server, then you can skip all the loading game and creating a folder because then you simply use the saved arcs local folder in your saved folder. Now if you open the folder, you see the files it created. You can now simply delete those files or back them up depending if it's a legit save that you want to keep or if it's a save that was just created freshly with our one-time load-in. Because you can only have one save per map and you cannot combine two saves with each other, so this folder has to be empty. Pull the files that you extracted earlier into the folder and depending on how quick your hard drive is, this might take a while. Now open the Steam ID finder to get your Steam ID. Type in your name and get the ID 64 decimal. Copy it in your clipboard for later. Now go back to your files that you just copied and search for a file that has your Steam ID in front. Once you found it, replace the ID with local player because this is how player files in single player are named. Next step is to go to the launch commands in your game. Open the general settings and paste them in this line in here. No save button needed, it's saved as soon as you paste it. And now you can actually load the game and hope you did everything right. Here we are, you can see it's not perfect. I have trees and plants inside the base and the performance is really terrible, but at least we can see that it worked. In order to improve the performance, I would suggest to destroy the wild dinos turn down all settings and fly around and destroy structures of other tribes. This will lessen the load on your game by a lot. And now don't forget to remove the load parameters you added if you want to load into a regular save file game, because otherwise your local saves will get saved with a new format that is still causing issues with third-party programs like Arc Smart Reading. The steps work very similar on the Epic Games launcher. I did write a long guide on how to set up things and I will link it in the description so you can follow it step by step and copy paste the paths and commands right from the article. And that was it. I hope it worked all out. Let me know in the comments if you had any issues or something wasn't very clear. And I guess I see you in the next video. Bye!